Hey Butterfly Beauty, so I'm back. I am back with the haul and it will be a quick haul, I promise. So um, you like my makeup, you're going to have to go check out my face on Instagram. So I used some of the things that I got um, in my Dollar Tree haul, which is basically the glitter. So anyways, this is not what this is about. So let me show you what I hauled. I know I said while I was here, I wasn't going to be buying any more stuff, but what happens is when I am super bored and... I'd rather eat and shop then I get a little sad and I don't know what it is about this trip but I just been sad so I've been buying stuff Lord help me please let me make it through these next two weeks and not buy nothing else because my bank account and stuff is not going to even be happy with that but one of the things I went to Old Navy and at Old Navy I picked up just a couple of things so as far as Old Navy is concerned um, I will have a another video either will be up before this one or after this one somewhere in between but it's inside the dressing room and y'all the stuff that i tried on over there but anyways y'all gonna have to see that but um i picked up these shoes for my grandson brayden so they are army shoes and they say 12 to 18 months as you can see but i don't know i know he can't fit them but i mean they were 3.99 i just couldn't pass them up so i bought him these shoes then they were socks for 47 cents and what baby doesn't need um socks and they say six to 12 months but he's got long feet but regardless he's a baby he can always grow into them 47 cents is what i got him and it has little dinosaurs on it so that was it for a braided then i picked up uh three things for me so you will see I bought a maxi dress and it was $10, that's why, because I went to the clearance rack. So the, it's a three, kind of an ombre effect, so it starts out in this teal, so hopefully the light picks it up right. And it has this drawstring kind of waist. Then you start to see it kind of do the ombre into this darker blue. And it just keeps going into that blue. And then it gets into an even deeper blue. Hopefully you can pick up that it does into a deeper blue. And then at the inside it has the teal. So I guess if it flips up you can see some of the teal. And that is just completely like washed out. But you can see this is the darker blue. And this is kind of the lighter blue. So maybe like this you can see the ombre effect of it. So yep, I got this maxi dress. I uh, actually bought it in a large, although I tried it on in an extra large. Then I have these, I love Pixies from the Pixie Pants from um, Old Navy, but sometimes I like trying to put the right type of shirt. So I bought this very plain cream color lace in the front detail. So you can see that to go with my maroon color Pixie. And this one I bought in a large. I tried on in an extra large as well. And this is just a back plain. And it has the detail that goes down the back. If you want to call it a detail, it's just a sew that goes down the back. So I got that. And then I bought this from the clearance rack. And this one was $8. And this is just a top. Sort of like a razorback top. And it has the uh, crochet here at the bottom. But the way it fits with some pants... It kind of helps hide the belly, so that's why I purchased it. I wasn't going to get it at first, but the more I thought about it, I could put it with the blazer. Um, I wear a bunch of, um, Lord, what do you call them? Shawls and such. So I can wear that with the shawl, dress it up, dress it down. So that's as far as clothes is concerned. Where I went and I shouldn't have got a dang thing was here. As you can see, Ulta. Now, I've talked about Ulta before. And you know, I'm not a super fan of Ulta, but there's no Sephora here. Mm. But then I couldn't find out yesterday when I was at um, Cheesecake Factory because I had to go do this drama with my rental. But that's a whole other story. They have an Ulta, uh, no, a Sephora in the mall. But I got there so late that the mall was going to be um, about to close. So it was a good thing because I'd have lost my mind feeling sad, down. Mm -mm. So good thing I did not find Sephora in time. So what I bought was a J Cat lipstick, and it is J Cat Beauty. What color is this? Makeup of the day. It's number one oh six. If you can see that, but really, what's it is the purple. It's a deep purple. Now I've heard of the J Cat brand before. This is the first J Cat thing. So y'all, I thought this was like that 
one that you buy at your local beauty supply store if you're um, lucky to have it because they don't have it at mine. And I thought it was a dollar ninety nine. Why was this stuff like three or four dollars? Mm, I better really love it. Then the other item I got was from. So I guess I should just take all this stuff out so I have stuff here in the bags. Was also from J Cat and it's makeup of the day and this one is red wine. So this must not be the color. This color is red wine. I absolutely love this color. So let me swatch that for you. Can you see that? Oh, ain't that pretty? So let me make it a little larger so you can see. This is a lip liner. So pretty. So so pretty. So let me go back and switch this, swatch this one. So I don't know what color it is. It just says number 106. Because it's not makeup of the day. I guess that's just the line. And this is the color. So there's the lipstick. Isn't that gorgeous, y'all? Look at that. Mm. Ooh, could have worn what I got on today. Mm-hmm. So then she give me oh I got a free sample didn't even know it some I concentrate for wrinkles probably because I was up in there barely with any makeup on she was like you need some help mm. then I really wanted to get this um because you know I'm trying to learn my whole highlight and contour y'all mm -hmm. so I got the NYX wonder stick I've heard people talk about it so we're gonna wonder if this stick really does work we're gonna try it out uh, so I got it, of course, in the color um, deep, which is deep profound. So we shall see, is it really deep for me or is it, you know, that we pretend you um, have a deep. So I thought I was done. I was like, okay, it was buy one, get one 50% off. I didn't find anything else that really was like calling to me to get the 50% off, but I did want to try this. So I purchased it. I walked the store and then I saw this palette. Walked away from it because I did not want to buy, pay for it. Went back looked at it again and I kept the color that was calling me was the Morocco color so everybody always is talking about Anastasia of Beverly Hills and I have not jumped on the bandwagon for the pomade and all that because girl is on a budget for real for real budget but anyways I went back and I fell for yes my first Anastasia of Beverly Hills purchase what no it was not the brow stuff but that's okay it was an eyeshadow palette like I need anymore but that's a whole nother story so this is what it looks like I'm so excited it comes with a brush oh snap I just put my fingers in it man man so it comes with a double sided brush it does have a mirror, so I'm not going to blind y'all with it, but really, look at these colors. Can y'all see these colors? I just put my finger in it. It didn't come like that. Anyways, but look at these colors. So what really sold me was this um, color here, Morocco and Fudge. So Morocco here, oh, it's just, and Fudge. Look how, oh my goodness. This set is called the World Traveler, the Shadow Couture World Traveler, and baby, we're going to rock the world with this because those two colors were screaming at me look at this heirloom that purple which is this one right here um i cannot wait to get in that and then you could see the intense gaze that rosy kind of color oh can't wait but anyways yes i spent the money for this i can't believe i did it it's so pretty though the soft peach for some highlights so i'm excited with my first anastasia of beverly Hills purchase but um i eventually add the pomade and all that kind of dip brow stuff uh at one point but this was i walked the store y'all and i kept telling myself don't do it don't do it girl just don't do it then it was like morocco you want to go to morocco you love those kind of colors fudge girl you love chocolate even though you're not a fanatic of fudge but you do love you some chocolates i was like oh some fudge calling me <laughs> anyways i'm doing the most y'all this was my quick call i absolutely love that i was able to purchase this so i can't wait to do a makeup look with this so i'm super excited about that purchase so i will have regrets about that later so, yeah, that was my really my quick call, y'all. Um, I'm going to get in a little closer. I know the lighting is kind of bad just to show you my face. And, again, I used the glitter that I bought from my Dollar Tree haul. 
All right, y'all. So if you want to see still pics of this, go check out my Instagram at Liz Butterfly. And again, welcome to my new Sabbaths. Hey, y'all. And to my old ones, thanks for supporting me. I really do appreciate it. So don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.